Imagine just being able to think about an object and then having it appear right in front of you. You're about to see something that looks like a high-tech bread box, but is actually MakerBot's 3D printer, capable of turning any digital image into a solid three-dimensional object. Pretty cool, huh? I'm Marisa Christian with Ivy Times TV, and we're at MakerBot's store in Manhattan to see this printer in action. So this is a little chain that we just made on the MakerBot and people kept coming into MakerBot and asking how strong this material was and so we made this and it actually it creates the chain all in one go. Bree Pettis has led MakerBot as CEO since its beginning in 2009. He has essentially become the face of 3D printing and a leader in personal manufacturing. Bree thought to create the first MakerBot years ago after realizing it was just too expensive to get a 3D printer of his own. So this architectural model is about as big as you can make on the MakerBot. And this took uh, about 23 hours to make. So the, the, good thing of, the cool thing about that is we made this machine for the creative explorers in the world. And so that they can you know, unleash their creativity. And we've already seen people do amazing stuff with it. We see, uh, we see businesses make prototypes and be able to iterate really quickly. What used to take months to prototype can take hours. So you can, you can, you know, that iteration process means that you can innovate faster. Um, we're also seeing, uh, you know, NASA and JPL and companies like GE get these to, in, uh, to be able to take ideas and literally potentially put them into space. So uh, there's a, you know, it's kind of a, it's a universal machine for making things and that's great for people who are who want to, you know, engineers, industrial designers, and architects, but then also for people who just love to make things. MakerBot recently opened its first retail store in Manhattan, selling MakerBots, filament, and pre-made items like toys, watches, and figurines. It is also a great spot for the public to see MakerBot's new Replicator 2 in action. What about maintenance? Um, so I've been told I have the Replicator 1, the previous one, and that one required leveling and stuff, but we took off leveling on this guy, so... Now you recently launched a new line. How does the Replicator 2 differ from the previous version? So the MakerBot Replicator 2 desktop 3D printer sets a new standard in 3D printing. It, it's got an amazing resolution of 100 micron layer resolution. The, micro, the, layer, the resolution of what you can make, it just feels good. Um, you can get just ready to use models straight off it. It's also got a massive build volume of 410 cubic inches which just means there's lots of room for you to turn your imagination into real things. We are standing in MakerBot's first ever retail store. What does the store have to offer and what made you think to open this place up? Well, you know, this is our fourth machine. This is the fourth generation MakerBot. And it's finally, we've reached a place where it's just super awesome. People can just get it, put it on their desktop and use it. And it's the stuff of science fiction. So we realized people had to see it, touch it and and see it in action to, to believe it. And, you know, it's one of the few things that I feel like we've been able to deliver on. You know, we don't have jetpacks, but you do have, you can have a machine. Not yet. Not yet. Well, maybe you can make one with a MakerBot, but if you can't have a jetpack, you can make, you can have a machine on your desk that can make you anything. A replicator.